uh, Nancy Collins is this uh, splatter punk author. She is the grandmommy of urban fantasy. Yep, I shudder again. Uh, this is an anthology of uh, erotic horror called Shudder Again. It's um, there is also a Shudder book which I've read, but I chose to go into this one and read a couple of stories and see if someone digs. It's um, the editor of this anthology is Michelle Slang, which has a uh, you know says. Uh, well known for the core anthologies and uh, it's it's interesting it's interesting anthology it's got some great authors here uh we have thomas ligotti story eye of the lynx uh ray bradbury uh, elizabeth jane howard ray russell arthur mahan uh may sinclair harold nelson jg ballard robert eichmann lisa tuttle ramsey campbell which we had one of his uh, erotic horror stories. Um, here the story is again, and I think it's also from um, Scared Steve. Mervyn Peak. I'm interested to read this one because uh, Mervyn Peak is one of the few authors who have whose writing has crushed me. Some Robert Bloch because you cannot have a horror anthology without Robert Bloch and Arthur Conan Doyle. So yes, it's not exactly full-on uh, erotic porn uh, story or something and the author I chose for uh, this from this book is definitely Nancy Collins her story is called Afra and it was a fun story uh, Nancy Collins is state in case you're not aware of her she's a splatterpunk author she's well known for her Sonia Blue novels who are basically the granddaddy, the grandmommy of all those urban fantasy stories like Anita Blake or um, Dresden Files. And also she used to write, she, used, she was writing the Swamp Thing for DC Vertigo. So she is uh, quite an accomplished author on her own. Uh, and yeah, she had a career. She had a career in the 90s and I was very happy to see she gave an interview on a comic book channel uh, a year ago and I was happy to see her talking, she, she's a great lady. This story was fun. I really like the story because it's it's quite interesting. It's about this guy who, when he was young, he was, he saw, he bought a comic book that was very bad and there was one of the ads in that comics that was about x-ray glasses and he was ecstatic to buy those x-ray glasses only to find out that when he got uh, those glasses uh, it was a gimmick he was just seeing some uh, funny pictures in the glasses not some not the details of other people and the main reason he got the glasses was because he assumed that he could uh, see girls she could see through girls clothes as he was waiting for the glasses he was curious he got an anatomy book from his father and uh, he had his first um, orgasm reading it. Since then, he was attracted to very thin girls. His first girlfriend was anorexic and she died from heart attack. And then he met uh, and married another model thin woman. But at some point, she, I think she was bulimic. Yes, she was bulimic. Uh, at some point, she is pregnant. She starts putting on weight, but she loses the child and uh, doesn't lose the pounds. And he is getting frustrated by her appearance, by how fat she is, and how, by how fat other people are. His marriage is ensembles, you know. He starts visiting um, various uh, garage sales, and in all of them he sees a skeleton and he buys her because he's sure it's a female skeleton. He names her Afra and puts the skeleton in his office so they can um, be together I guess. And he is growing more and more attracted to the skeleton. At uh, some point his wife barges into the office 
uh, sees him with a skeleton and leaves him and he just, uh, you know, he stops working. Uh, he stops going out of the house. He's just lost into his relationship with uh, that skeleton. He's growing thinner and thinner as he's not eating and he has marks from her bones on his body, etc. So if this, if you have any flashbacks out of uh, the story, it's pretty similar to the Ramsey Campbell story we had, uh, Lilith, which is about a man and his desire for an inanimate object of sort and his passion for it, falling in love with something inanimate, it's, it's, it's a trope. I mostly won't talk about the story because it's Nancy Collins and she's not often mentioned in a horror tube, uh, which is the same. Yeah, this story is fun, it's entertaining, it's uh, it's freaky in a sort of original way, that's very tropey, being attracted to something, uh, you shouldn't be attracted, a sort of paraphilia is a usual horror trope. We had two stories like that already. We had Ramsey Campbell and the doll, and then we had um, the Love Dead way, way in the beginning of the month, if you remember this video. And it, it follows all the tropes, but there is this, you know, there is the man who is with a woman, but he's not satisfied by something here, so he finds an object that's feminine to project, the values that he doesn't find in a woman. The Ramsey Cable guy won't apply in the woman and he couldn't do that with a woman who had will and a pulse. And this one uh, likes them bony. He finds a skeleton because apparently his very first uh, sexual experience was watching the skeleton of a woman or a woman turn off her skin or something like that. Um, so there is always a sense of the paranormal towards the end, but it's more about the psyche, about uh, the, I won't say forbidden desire exactly, I'll call it a dark reflection of desire in the characters of those stories. And that's an interesting uh, similarity. Yeah, it's tropey. It's true, but it's fine. It's about a man falling in love with a skeleton. and the way they're falling in love in both stories are like um, interesting how they project all this personality into that object that's um, really it's a bit for bit those two stories are a bit for bit which is interesting come to think of it now I'm going through the story again like yes 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 it, it's that thing really um, but uh, we know a trope now we know a the core trope I guess, and now uh, maybe we should start looking for original ways to implement that. I mean, how about a man who falls in love with a toaster? And I hope it's not plugged in during the act. It will be horrifying, or, you know, I can't think of anything outrageous at the moment. Probably I like the trope when I say it, alright? Um, if you have any other stories following this similar trope, leave a comment below with them, I'd love to read them. Um, as always, thank you for watching, smash the like button, subscribe for more videos like that. Uh, the month is reaching towards its end, so yes, if you only see those videos and you're like, uh, again, you realize that's the end of the video, right? You could have skipped this one. And also, don't worry, we're going back to our, to our regular schedule by November. As always, thank you for watching and stay spooky.